Hi everybody, this is Troy on the trails. Today we're talking about water management. Probably the biggest eroding force on trails is water. You know, a lot of things erode trails. Hikers erode trails, bikes erode trails, horses erode trails, but nothing like water, because water has a force that's unequaled to any other force around. So we're talking about four different techniques today. The first thing I'm gonna talk about today is a back channel, which you can see next to me. I dug this back channel like a week or two ago, because all this water up this little hillside was infiltrating this trail. We're on the edge trail actually, right by the visitor center. Was making where I'm kneeling right now, very muddy. It wouldn't be very much fun to kneel on this right now. But you can see about the water in this channel I dug, it's controlling the water and funneling the water down the hill to where it can flow off to a culvert pipe eventually. So this is one good technique we hear use at the Nature Center to really control water as best you can to prevent it from eroding and damaging our trails. All right, we've already talked about back channels. This is a more common water management tool called a culvert pipe, which is basically a pipe that transfers water under the trail or a road. You often see them on roads. This one I replaced last year. It's had an 18-inch pipe here last year, and this gets water off the Playscape stream and off the algae wheel after it's been cleaned in the algae wheel, obviously. So it would build up a lot of silt. All this water would totally clog the 18-inch pipe up. Then the water would overflow the pipe and cause a lot of trail damage here. So last year I dug up that pipe. I put a, we do a new style now, like a half moon style, where we cut the pipe in half so it's like this shape instead of being a whole circle. So this is about a 40-inch pipe I stuck in the ground now. So the odds of this thing getting, ever getting clogged up are slim to none. So I dug this up with an excavator, dug up the influence side with the excavator to really make the water flow a lot easier. So this is an example, it's a great example of way you can manage water also by flowing it under the trail. Okay, now we're on the thing I built a lot here called a roller. These are often called rolling grade dips. I don't build a dip part because digging compact the gravel is not much fun. So place trails like this where it's slightly a downhill run where the water will go in the direction of the run. I build these rollers like you see here. What I do basically, I put number two gravel down first, which is like fist sized gravel, that I top with our regular gravel. It's to direct water across the trail instead of down the trail. So hopefully water does not breach the top of the roller, it just runs in front of the roller. When I first built this roller, I was watching the water run right in front of it. It, was, it looked beautiful actually. So instead of the water <clears throat> flooding down through here, causing an erosion channel behind me, the water just goes right off the trail and into the woods, so it prevents a lot of erosion. You see a lot of these around row woods. It's all about preventing erosion, because gravel's great and all, but gravel doesn't really bind as well as natural dirt does. Dirt gets muddy, obviously, but it doesn't really rut out as bad as gravel does. And this, so far, has prevented any, any future rutting. All right, this is the fourth thing we're talking about on water management is a grade reversal. Grade reversal is a very simple concept. You reverse the grade of the trail from down to up. This trail's been here a very long time at the Nature Center. Whoever designed it did a beautiful job of following the natural contours of the land and the up and down motion. As you can see, I'm at a high point here. It drops down below me and goes up again. The more you can incorporate grade reversals in your trail, because what will happen is the water will roll down this trail, jump off at the bottom, and not obviously go up the hill. That doesn't happen that often. So it's a great technique for getting water off your trails. So those are our four things we've done talked about today. Talked about back channels, We've talked about culvert pipes, we've talked about uh, rollers, and finally grade reversals. If you incorporate all four of these things into your trail, your trail will last a lot longer. 